The date is February 22nd, and it's just a regular day on the RevGT channel. Mirko has uploaded to rate my gameplay, and we all sit and enjoy Mirko's run. But then, unexpectedly, enter stage left, Crabhack8676. And here's what he or she said. Mr. GT, I have a proposition for you. I would like to see an Achievement Hunter's Bane build, where you force the whale to fight by turning it into a rock. This may seem counterintuitive, because a whale that's turned to rock would sink to the bottom of the ocean and run out of air. <laughs> but this will actually teach the whale empathy for all the ships it has sunk to a similar fate. So let's sum this up. Crabhack has entered, has not acknowledged Mirko's run whatsoever, has thrown this in, refused to elaborate, and left. Pure alpha. So after some initial confusion, it dawned on me. He's talking about Moby Dick, the new token pet in Super Auto Pets, and using a basilisk to turn it into a rock before it kills itself. Now obviously, once I realize this, this is so stupid it's right up my alley, this just might work. So naturally, I had to try it out. Crabhack's vision for the Moby Rock. Hello Moby Rockers, it is an honor to be with you today, Mobying and rocking. Here is the pack we were on, and I have two runs, I'm going to bring them back to back. Uh, and I'll start them both around like turn 7, we'll just let them roll man. And like this, it truly is an honor, like, Crabhack had this incredible like, philosophical and mechanical thought about turning a Moby Dick into a rock, and also linked it to like, there was some, like, very deep meaning behind it. <laughs> it's so funny, man. It's just so cool. So, this first run is a little bit more meme -y, And the second run is a little bit more serious. But you know me, I'm never going full meta. The second run just features some more easily... Pets that you can win easily with. This first run, I just kept finding whales. And so there's an obvious synergy between whales and Moby Dick. Because Moby Dick is... Is Moby Dick a whale? Or an orca? Some kind of large sea animal. And so, like, it's a very natural way to, like, hey, here's this whale, and then we get the Loch Ness, and then we pill that, and then we get, we pill that thing, and you know how it works. You've seen Super Auto Pets videos recently. We have a Nessie question mark. You pill that, you put your Nessie in, you pill it, Nessie question mark. I tried to do the hokey pokey, it didn't work. You also have a Nessie. Are you running Moby Rock? Uh-uh, don't think so. So, <laughs> the Basilisk obviously is a key part of our team. Here comes the Moby or the Moby Dick, which obviously would normally kill itself, start a battle, remove it. But as long as the Basilisk is behind it with higher attack, Moby Dick, it lives, it evolves, much like a Pokemon would. And I'm running bloody Whale Skeleton Dog in the custom arena. Wouldn't advise it if you were trying to win. However... No, we'd lose. Okay, scratch that. I was trying to be positive. I guess, uh, scrap that. It's hard to have fun in customs, man. We bring in the Stego. What we really need is wide scaling. And I thought, why? Well, I'm having fun, man. I'm cooking. Why not actually run the whale with the Nessie? It's very aquatic themed. I should have picked his background now that I think about it. <laughs> and... We are cooking. So what's actually, like, tragic about my experience going for this build is that on my second attempt, I got the 10 or the 12 piece, I guess, I should say, with the Moby Rock synergy. <laughs> but it was so boring, man. It was, like, all the meta units, and I was like, nah, you know, Crab Hack is, is so creative. Like, I need to match that energy. And then proceeded, proceeded to not win for about approximately 80 to 100 attempts. Uh, so then I got this run and the next run that you're going to see back to back. And it just, it, it felt right. It's, uh, deep inside me, it spoke to me like, yes, this is what, this is what Crab Hack would want. So now we have a level 2 Elephant Seal. We can scale. And maybe we have a chance. Uh-oh, Behemoth Team. I've been seeing a lot of Yak since the update. Very odd. And that this looks like a lost, lost, but we win. We have two health remaining, we have five wins to go. Do we have a chance? Here comes the scaling. Now it's tough because the Elephant Seal and the Nessie are not synergistic in the slightest. One wants you to roll, one wants you to buy perks. 
I have no gold generating pets. I have these two pets which have no ability other than uh, Basilisk helping the Moby Dick survive. And we kind of good math on them right here. And my stupid horrendous team is up to eight wins. Maybe we have a chance. Scale me, scale me. We have no snipes. We have no like skunk or kraken dropping their health. We really just have a heart full of dreams and a Moby Rock. I mean, it's more than some have, I guess. I shouldn't complain. This guy gets Kappa. And I wonder if he didn't get Kappa if we win or maybe draw here. But that Melon Armor proves to be the difference. And I'm down to one health. <laughs> but I'm feeling good about myself, man. We're Moby rocking. Here comes the cheese. So this Moby Dick, it goes to kill itself, but then it gets turned into a rock and it keeps the cheese. The good old rock cheese. And look, this guy's just like the fun police is here. Uh, I'm running a bison. I'm so good is what he probably was like telling his girlfriend or something. And we lose. We bow out with our <laughs> stupid, uh, some kind of aquatic theme theme. I don't know. Let's head over. I'll pause and let's head over to a more serious attempt. Okay, I am fully aware of the irony that I'm saying this is a serious attempt, and then this is my team on turn 7. Basically, like, I just kept getting goldfish and rice, and I thought, you know what? Why don't I just, like, literally throw rounds until I get to turn 9, and then I'll pivot, pivot, Nessie, Nessie, bada bing, bada boom. That was the plan. That was the plan. So maybe not a serious attempt, but basically, I had that run with the whale and stuff, and I thought, man... Man, I'm kind of playing with house money now. And maybe I'll just like see if I can get a good one. And after so many bad attempts to have two really good ones back to back, it felt kind of special, dude. So we're going to save this level. Um, and my horrendous team, there is no situation in which I win. I have definitely put out the worst turn eight team for the whole day <laughs> in Super Auto Pets. <laughs> uh, but I think crab hack would approve Please let me know crab hack if you approve Sell, 28 gold level Elephant seal, the return of our friend This will be the scaling And a leopard And what I, and what I really need to see As now I'm kind of, uh, You can see that I'm sort of the fun police now Skunk leopard, really creative Rev uh, but I just need to stay alive. I'm on one health. And I need to hopefully find a Nessie somewhere. And I think I'm going to use the chocolate on the leopard. Are we strong enough to survive this round? We probably we probably shouldn't be. But we verse this kind of draw-ish team. And we've got enough. And I, I was literally like, my energy was building this run. Where I've like, I'm like, wait a second. If I get some good luck and find the Nessie soon. I'm a bit of a sniff. A, a large sniff, in fact. Unfortunately, we do not do the sniffing this round. I don't, I don't know, that that analogy got out of hand. And we face LeBun. So the day that I'm recording this, LeBun's video just went live. See that name right there, LeBun? Type that into YouTube, subscribe to that man. He's a he's just got it, man. He's just got it. I'm a big fan of LeBun. He's running this very creative Pteranodon Tiger Bug jump build. But it's terrible luck for him. My leopard takes it out before it begins. And he almost still beats me. Dude, his video was great. Go check it out. He's doing jump builds. I'm Moby Rockin. Virtual handshakes, LeBun. And we finally get the Nessie. I could have peeled it straight away, but I didn't. That's just a misplay. Welcome to the RevGT channel. If you're new, misplays are common. Now I need one more pill and I can get my Moby Dick. But do we stay alive? He rocks my leopard. That's not very nice. But the math is tremendous. And we're still fighting, man. I like... I actually had stood off the couch at this point. Like, I'm a bit of a sick freak, man. Like, I ride the highs and the lows of my team. I just love this game with all of my heart. And uh, <laughs> sometimes I get carried away. Really lucky here. That guy was running a warg with... Out mana. So not too sure. Can we get a pill? I right, see, and now like the issue is I'm turning down perks because I need to find my pill, so I'm missing the opportunity to scale. 
And we really have had bad luck. Uh, welcome to jump builds. Like, the nerf happened and then everyone was like, Oh, what's the next, like, stupidly cheesy thing that I can do? And it's jump builds, man. At least LeBun was creative. The rest of you, I've got my eye on you. And uh, I've also got my eye on my Moby Rock. Wait, Moby Dick? And now we can scale. Is a level 2 leopard and a skunk enough to overcome my pets with no abilities? It's close, doesn't look good. Ooh, we math on them. Eight wins. Can this team get there? Where the crowd is chanting Crab Hack's name. Crab Hack, Crab Hack, Crab Hack. And then we enter turn 15. And surely we're not strong enough here. Ooh, but we are. Teddy Haddon. Nice knowing you. We, we get to scaling. I mean, it's not great. Elephant seal without a gold generating pet isn't ideal. But look, your spot's limited when you're using two of them on a basilisk Moby Dick. <laughs> and just in a tragic... Can I slow down? Two more attack on my basilisk. And we win. So those, those turns where we were rolling for pill... Have come back to bite us in Le Butt. Not Le Bun, in Le Butt. And we bow out. But that is the Moby Rock. I want to give a massive shout out to Crab Hack. You are a creative genius. You have enhanced all of our sap lives. And I salute thee and I thank you all for watching. Keep being creative. Keep doing funky stuff. Get the most out of this game that you can. I don't know why I turn inspirational here. But have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>